Hi everyone, this is Mindy Egan for Lawn Fawn and in today's video we are going to create a vineyard scene using the Year 14 stamp set. This is a look at the stamp set. It has one single image with some smiley faces and some sentiments. So I plan on stamping this a couple times to try and fill in my scene. I'm going to be using alcohol markers to color my image. So I am using Expressit cardstock and I'm starting out with a piece that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I placed my image down in that bottom left hand corner and then I'm inking it up with the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. I'm going to stamp it twice because it is brand new. I haven't used it yet. So I'm getting a better line when I'm stamping it twice. And then I flip the card stock and I'm gonna stamp it again so I can color in two images. The alcohol markers that I'm going to be using today are the Olo markers. And here is a screenshot of the color combination that I'm going to be using for my grapes today. After I have my grapes all colored in, I am going to show you the completed image at the end. And I'm also going to show you a variation because when I originally colored this, I started out with more purple tones, but my idea with my card project is, so my idea changes throughout the card. I wanted to have these grapes with a glass of wine was my original intention. And I'm going to show you how things kind of changed and progressed throughout the video. But that is why I decided to go with more of this wine or this burgundy color for my grapes versus the bright purple. They're both beautiful color combinations. It was just if I wanted to have a wine glass, I wanted the wine to be more of that burgundy color. And so I went through and found a different color combination to do that. Now, after I finished coloring in this set of grapes, I do kind of flip my cardstock and I will color in the other one. I do that off screen to save a little bit of time, but I am going to come back in and do the stem and the leaves. For these, I am using a YG color combination. I probably could have gone with a more um, kind of like a noble fur type of color, darker greens, but I really love this bright green color combination that Olo has. Now, something I like to do once in a while is I'll leave my stamp set in my Misty tool. And then after I'm done coloring, I bring it back into my Misty and I stamp back over the top with the black ink. And once in a while, I'll do this if I feel like I kind of lost the crispness of the black ink. So that's what I'm doing here. And I do think it stands out just a little bit more. So once I have those done, I am going to take the coordinating die. Hold that down with the low tack tape and die cut out my images. I'll do that for both of them. And then here is a look at the two bunches of grapes that I have. And then I'm going to bring in the other set where I did those bright purples, which is a really fun look too. I'm going to start out with the original concept that I had in my head, which was creating a brick wall. And then I was going to have a window that looks out to the vineyard. So I'm going to walk through some of it. I'm not going to go through all of it in detail but I still wanted to show you in case you wanted to try this idea because I still think it's a really good idea. I just, things changed and I wanted to try something else. So I have a piece of white cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I use the brick wall stencil and lost shadow distress ink and a blending brush. I'm taking the arch die from the secret garden window die set and I'm lining that up on the front of the card, having the margins be even on the right and left hand side. So that's creating the window that I was envisioning. So, so far, so good. Now I'm going to take another piece of white cardstock and I'm placing it behind there and I'm going to start trying to lay out how I wanted the vineyard to be. I wanted these rolling hills in the background. So I'm using the hillside stencil and I brought my window in to kind of get an idea how high I needed to go with my hills. The first hill I'm starting out with is going to be kind of closest to the bottom. I did put some repositionable tape behind my cardstock so that it is secured in place. And then I'm holding my hillside stencil down with washi tape. I'm going to ink blend from the top, working my way down using cilantro ink. It's really humid in my house right now. So my ink pads, I think, kind of react to that. And it's super juicy. So I keep the heavier handed part of my ink towards the top of that stencil and then have it kind of fade off down towards the bottom. Off screen, I cleaned off my stencil and I flipped it so that I could have a hill going in the other direction. 
I always kind of bring in my window, double check how it's looking through that window area I created. And then once I'm happy with this, I hold that down again with the washi tape and I'm really careful how far down I blend. I'm keeping the darkest area towards the top of the hill and then just kind of get lighter handed with my blending brush as I get towards that next line. So that created the rolling hills that I was envisioning for my background and for my vineyard. Now for the sky, I'm just going to bring in, I think this was Merman ink, and I'm going to start at the very top. I do wipe my work surface down quite often with rubbing alcohol and a rag just to pick up any excess ink. And I'm coming in with that light blue from the top and having it kind of fade off as I get towards those hills. I just wanted a hint of blue in the background. And again, so far so good. This was exactly what I was picturing and really all of it was. It was just once you kind of start working on a card idea, your, your feeling about it changes where you want to try something else. For the vines for my grapes, I am using these leaves from the Strawberry Patch die set. I die cut it out of LG cardstock and then I'm using Rainforest ink and a small blending tool to apply ink to just one side of the leaves. Now there's not a lot of room in between those leaves and I really wanted to keep the darkest area to one side. So I use a post-it note to kind of mask off the other leaves. The Rainforest ink is a really great combination to use with the new LG cardstock. It really just adds that contrast and that pop to the leaves. So here are my two completed pieces. I love how they came out. So I'm going to set those off on the side. I'm going to be using the Build a Drink Cocktail. And this is where I'm, I'm leaving this in the video for you because I still, like I said, I still think it's a great idea and I wanted you to see how I did it. I'm just not going to be using it today. So this is the inside piece. This is your actual drink piece for it. And I'm coming in with raspberry ink. I start pretty heavy handed down towards the bottom and I'm going to have it kind of get lighter as I get towards the top of the glass. And then here is the outline piece I die cut out of white cardstock and just getting an idea how that looks. I wanted to add some more depth and dimension to the bottom of my glass and I brought in, I think this one was Blue Jay ink and I'm using a small blending tool to add that to the very bottom. Now that wasn't quite going like I had expected it to. So I wiped up my work surface and I came back in with the raspberry ink and went right back over that. It does still add a lot of contrast to the bottom of my glass. And like I said, it wasn't quite what I was expecting, but I think it still worked out pretty good. I die cut the outline of the glass out of white cardstock and I'm going to layer these together. I have two of them die cut here. I'm adding liquid glue to the back and I'm going to place this over the top and that's just going to add some stability to my glass. I'll then take that piece, flip it over and I'm going to add more liquid glue to the back but just really around the very outer edge of where my drink is going to be. Once I have that put together, I'm going to bring in the elements that I've created so far for my scene, which is the background, the brick wall, and my vines, I'm going to call them. So you can see how this is really coming together, and I did really like it. I was thinking about having this glass kind of tucked over in the side with the vines popping out on the side, and then maybe a bunch of grapes next to the glass. So I still think this is a really cute idea. Where everything kind of started to change for me is I played around with the vines and I had them at the very top of the card and then I had some extra mice that I had stamped and colored and just set off on the side and I loved how that looked except I was a little limited on room for my sentiment and that was kind of the deciding factor of not using that window is because there was a certain sentiment I had in mind which was using this Kohl's ABC and spelling out the word grape. And it just wasn't quite fitting for me when it came to the window with the brick wall. So I'm going to put that off on the side and save it for a future card project. For the word grape, I die cut it out three times out of white cardstock. And then I have a silicone mat here that kind of grips my uh, letters. And just one set of the letters I am adding some of that raspberry ink to with a small blending brush. I have it really dark towards the bottom of the letter and then get lighter handed as I get towards the top. So it's going to create that gradient of color down the letter. Then I'm going to layer all of these together with liquid glue. So it's going to build up that dimension for me. Or if you want, you could trim down some foam squares and add it behind your letters instead. I could have also ink blended a piece of cardstock first and die cut it from that. 
but I prefer to die cut my letters first because then I can really see where the light and dark areas are going to be for my letter and I can kind of control how dark one area is going to be. I brought everything over to my Misty stamping tool because now I need to stamp a sentiment. So the idea I had was to have it say, you are so grape. So I have the grapes. So I'm really doing some wordplay here. Instead of great, it's going to be grape. And I'm using a sentiment off of the Simply Sentiments stamp set. I only want the you are so. So I need to mask off the other half of that sentiment. I used everything, kind of just placed it on the front of the card so I knew about where I needed this to go. And then I used um, a ruler or a T-square. I'm not really sure exactly what it's called, but I used those from the Misty Corners set to help push my sentiment down and make sure it was lined up straight. Then I just needed to make sure it was even on each of the left and right hand side. I masked off the word awesome with a post-it note, inked up the, the sentiment, and then removed the post-it so I could stamp this down. Now the fun part begins of building up and creating my scene. I'm going to start by taking my panel here. This is the background I created, and I'm adding tape runner behind it and adding it to a side folding card base. I will also take a little piece of post-it tape, and I end up putting it inside of my card so that I can hold my card together when I start placing things on top. That way my card stays flat. I'm going to use a mix of liquid glue and thin foam squares to build up my scene. I start at the top with those vines. I maybe should have added another set of vines. Not sure how I feel about it. I love how the card came out, but I'm thinking maybe I should have filled that in a little bit more. So I just used liquid glue to add those to the top of the card. I have a little bit that's going to hang off the edge and I'll trim that off later. And then I'm bringing in my mice. So I have the mice that's kind of sliding down that bunch of grapes. Um, that is from you, uh, you Autumn Know. And then I have that other my mouse down there by my sentiment that is from the Whoosh Kites stamp set. I used the lines on my grid surface to line up my letters. And then I just placed a piece of removable tape over the top to pick them up. I'm adding a little bit of the liquid glue to the back of each letter, and then I can place this down onto the front of my card. And I really want to make sure I'm keeping everything fairly centered or even on each side. Now, I know my letters look a little crooked right now, but that's the beauty of using a liquid glue is that I have that little bit of wiggle time to situate and straighten them out. For both of my a bunch of grapes, I am adding some thin foam squares to the back. The mouse that's kind of going to be sliding down the bunch of grapes, that one I am just going to attach with some liquid glue because he's mainly going to be on the grapes. He's not going to really be on the front of the card itself. And then my other mouse that's going to be down towards the sentiment, I also added thin foam squares to that one because it's not overlapping anything and I wanted him to pop off the front of the card just a little bit. I have a couple finishing touches that I want to do to the card. One of them was to be adding some highlights to my grapes. Now there's a couple ways that you could do this. I am using a white gel pen, um, but you could also take a white colored pencil and just add a little bit of highlight with that too. So that's always something to keep in mind is you can use a colored pencil. I also added some additional highlights to my mice just to kind of add a touch of more cuteness to them. And then another thing I like to do is take some unicorn stickles and add it over my ink blended letters. Now, sometimes this can get a little scary with reds because it can kind of change the color a little, a little bit. Thankfully, it didn't seem to affect the raspberry color, but there is some really fun sparkle to this. Then I should have did this before I did the stickles, but I flipped my card panel over and trimmed off those excess leaves that are hanging at the top of the card. Thankfully, I did not bump my stickles, but I probably should have did this part first. And that is my finished vineyard scene using just a couple of stamp sets really for my images. You could really have a lot of fun decorating this and really kind of turning it into a vineyard, maybe adding a barn. But I also think this clean and simple look is really nice too. I hope you found this inspirational and maybe the ideas I gave you with the cocktail glass to have a wine glass with your grapes is inspirational as well. I would love to see if you create something with that. Thank you all so much for spending time with me today, and I'll see you soon. 